What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the all new 2023-24 UEFA Club Competitions flagship hobby box from Tops. These dropped on the Tops website for 75 bucks and man did we get caught off guard by this one. So I cannot wait to open this up. But as always, we're here to show you guys what this product is all about. So let's get right into it. If you enjoy this kind of content and want to see more, consider dropping a like down below and subscribing if you haven't already. It really, really helps out the channel and it really helps us grow and helps with the YouTube algorithm and all that awesome stuff. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, take a look at this box in case you're curious about all the sides. This is what the back looks like, but this should be a 24 by eight format. I don't know what, okay, tops total. So we do have this extra pack, which we'll get into here in a sec, but 24 by eight format, 192 cards total. We should be getting a bunch of non-numbered parallels. So like five gold star balls and three pink sparkles and of course three regular numbered cards per box on average and uh what else yes we are getting either one autograph or one relic sometimes you can get auto relics i haven't really seen any at this point but i'm pretty sure they exist because they are on the checklist so uh what else am i missing here uh so yeah this bonus pack is actually something they kind of took from baseball i'm pretty sure but they do have like four chrome cards uh, kind of technically like preview but uh, you can get up to like four number cards in these. They're not guaranteed. The pack is guaranteed per box, but the number cards are not. Uh, but yeah, in terms of parallels uh, for the regular set, I'll put up the uh, table up on the screen as a reference with a comparison with last year. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the autos should also follow a similar numbering system uh, for the most part in terms of those parallels. So um, yeah, let's get into this first pack. Obviously we're keeping this to the very end because it's kind of, we do, we do that a lot on the channel, especially with autographs. But yeah, with all the other surprises that are in this set, that one was definitely like one of the biggest surprises. Okay, so starting us off is Hoyland. We have, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of cards in each pack, obviously, since this is not Chrome, they can fit more cards in these. But here is our first insert, European Knights. A big fan of the inserts this year. Um, Honestly, like not entirely convinced with the design. It is nice. I mean, it's not like that bad, but it's not like amazing. But I don't know. I feel like maybe it'll look slightly better with Chrome when it does come out. Here is a horizontal Courtois. And we have our first flipped card. This has to be either like a numbered card. If it was numbered, it would be up here, which is something strange that they did. So this might be a variation. Let's take a look at the back it is variation so we'll get into this in more detail here in a sec but 234 is a regular and then 270 is your kind of just regular short print Let's put this one over there but in terms of rookies and i think we've only seen maybe just a few rookies there is one of the chase rookies let's see if we can get any other variations here there is laminia mall all right, and we have a 99 out of 99. It's gonna be our first numbered card, and it is a Thomas Muller, the guy who coined Lewandowski, one of the highest IQs in soccer, football for everyone else who doesn't call it soccer. Well, let's put our first hit over there. Uh, but yeah, in terms of rookie class, you guys saw Lamini Mal here. He is carrying the entire product on his back and the entire rookie class on his back like multiple times. But yeah, he's only 16 years old and he's been doing amazing stuff for Barcelona. And, you know, he's not like turning 17 until like summertime. And he's like already established himself in the world of football. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay. Just a team card. Something like too crazy. But what is this? Okay. So this is one of our non... This is another insert. So much going on in this product, guys. Uh, where did I put the inserts? I think I just mixed them up. All right. Whatever. So this is the pink sparkle we are getting three they're not numbered let's just set that one over there but yeah uh in terms of all the other rookies besides laminium all uh we do have kareem kanate uh, julian duranville and of course we have to include lewis smiley even though you know his hobby hype has been falling off lately uh, and if i had to add like a few others you know you're looking at Facundo bonanote that we saw on prism epl uh yanko Bamente we saw earlier for sure that was him that was him and none of these guys, there is Mosa, KDB, another horizontal one, and another Laminia Mall. And we got a gold star ball. They're calling this like a variation, but it's, I mean, it's just like a 
you know, it just has gold background with like that Champions League soccer ball thing. We are getting five of these, so I feel like the pink is technically rarer. But uh, who else is I missing? Ben Doak from Liverpool, maybe. You know, and then Leo Sauer as well. But yeah, it doesn't really, I mean, they, they always try to fill these products with like a lot of rookies because they just, you know, want to increase the, the rookie pool. But oh, look at this one. This is one of my favorite designs. This is obviously a throwback one. Um, one of my favorite designs for inserts from the set. I really wish they made the base cards like this actually, instead of, instead of this design over here. But Tops is uh, making the calls. So let's just put that one over here. What is this? So we got done with a quarter. Other packs in the box, but yeah, someone I do want to mention from the rookie class that I'm pretty sure is in this set, not Fermin Lopez, but uh, yeah, he has huge potential. Unfortunately, he is in, oh, what is this? Hold, 33 out of 99. We have a nice Rafael Liao road to London. Love to see it. AC Milan, this is the icy blue foil. Big, big fan of this design. I don't know like how they came up with this, but it kind of looks like a, I don't know, like some sort of like magnifying glass lens or whatever. So that's our second numbered card. But yeah, um, Paris Brunner from Dortmund. Uh, he got into some serious trouble. Don't know exactly what happened, but he has been suspended for about like half a year at this point. So his career, you know, is actually like one big question mark, especially if you've, you know, heard of him from like the fan sets or if you just like watch Bundesliga or if you follow the BVB, there is our second pink sparkle. Uh, yeah, just really, really unfortunate. Um, I honestly would have put him like at the very top of the list, um, you know, obviously after Luminium Mall for the rookies, but I don't know. I mean, it could be another one of those like Mason Greenwood scenarios. I mean, I don't really want to speculate that much, but I have no idea. Like they have been keeping it on a lockdown and no one knows what's going on with that kid but he does have a lot of talent like he was Dorman's like top top young player talent Ooh, what is this milan's mission okay so this is just like one of those inserts i guess but there is julian durenville i might have mixed up the non-chase rookies and just put some of them over there but it's all good all right Let's just do this. Got quite a few packs. 24 packs in a hobby box is not something we're used to. I mean, they definitely have products that have that many packs, but definitely not the majority of all the product releases every year. I guess the highest we can get to is like, there's Killian Mbappe's younger brother, Ethan Mbappe. If you're chasing his rookies, obviously they exist in this set as well. Now starring Harry Kane. Pretty sure he scored a banger free kick. At this point, I don't know when you guys are watching this video, but the Farmers League, am I right? <laughs> Doing great, great things. Really hope that he breaks Lewandowski's Golski record for the Bundesliga. I think it was like 41 goals in one season. He can do it. I believe in him. That's for sure. There's Christian Pulisic. Would love to pull a numbered card of that guy, especially in an AC Milan jersey. But here is Kevin De Bruyne. Another one of the cooler inserts. So the inserts, in my opinion... I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, they are much nicer than the base design. Just, you know, personal preference. I don't, how do you guys feel about the design? Let me know in the comments down below. I personally like last year's a lot and the year before that one is slightly better than this one, but this one might grow on me. I mean, it is pretty unique. I will give it that. This is one of the guys we talked about earlier. There's Harry Kane, Joe Felix, and European Knights, Vinny Jr. So only two numbered cards so far. We got two of each parallel as well. And yeah, something else they added in this set, which was another pleasant surprise, was the multiple variations for, you know, certain players. We only got to see like one so far, at least one that I've, you know, noticed. But um, I don't know. Let's see if we can actually pull another one while we're talking about this right now. I highly doubt it because they, you know, there are meant to be like short print and super short print. But um, yeah. Obviously, if it ends uh, with two, three, four, then it is just a regular base. And then if it ends, okay, oh, out of 25, Pepe, orange for PSV. I was about to say United States, but I realized these are all, you know, Champions League cards. So the lowest numbered card so far, we'll have to see it. I think we might get another numbered one or maybe from the silver pack. We'll find out at the end. 
I'd love to see this gold star ball Pedri. Big fan of, of you know this design actually, especially with the gold in the background. If it was just like regular star ball, I don't know how I'd feel about that, but I mean, definitely wouldn't be anything special. But okay, sorry, going back to what we were talking about about the SSPs, if it's just a regular base, then it ends with 234. Okay, I'm gonna say this for the millionth time again. If it ends with 234, it's gonna be base. If it ends with 270, it's gonna be short print. And if it is gonna be super short print, it is gonna have a, a foil SSP on the back and the card will end with 271. That's kind of cool in my opinion. But the ultra short print variation does not have a foil on the back. But according to the checklist, there's only one player uh, that is ultra short print and it's gonna be Cristiano Ronaldo. I'll put that exact card on the screen so you guys can see it, him holding the Champions League trophy. Uh, but yeah, it should end with 272. So in case you don't recognize that, or in case you don't notice that that picture is very, very different. It's another one of those cool inserts. Um, yeah, just check the back, see if it ends with 272. That is gonna be your ultra short print. And we have yet to see our one auto slash one relic. I have a feeling if it is gonna be a relic, the pack is gonna be thicker than usual, unless they just substituted few of the base cards gold julian alvarez the top rookies in the set do have this like little trophy which i think they've done almost every year but here we go fingers crossed it's an auto as nice as the relics might be most of us i'm pretty sure are looking for autographs especially of lamine yamal there is billing goal this guy has a crazy one of one auto that, you know, Tops just put in this product. I don't think it's been pulled yet. There was a fake one, at least from what I've seen, or like all the different people that made analyses online about it, um, how it wasn't like the actual one that was like pulled in China or something. So I don't know. Time will tell. We'll see when it actually gets pulled because it was like very, very different than the one that, you know, he was in a video with Tops and he held it up, the one that he signed. So, okay, I feel like, okay, we're getting a relic for sure. It is way thicker than you'd expect especially lasting through all these regular non-chrome stock cards let's see what this one's going to be i'm not going to make you guys wait until the very end what is this oh, it's going to be vertical let's just flip it around Ooh, warren zaire emery purple so this should be numbered 299 unfortunately it is the highest numbered kind of patch that we can get, but it does look pretty cool. Pretty big fan of the design. The relic contained in this card is not from any specific match, event, or season. So from what I understand, Tops does, you know, it's not like it's not associated or whatever. It's not like a napkin, but from what Tops has explained in the past, they just don't put the exact detail like Futera does about like where this patch came from exactly. So at least it does belong to Warren Zyre Emery, but who knows? at what point of his career that that one came from. I mean, it could even be player-worn. You know, like if you've heard like match-worn or player-worn before, it could be player-worn. So where is our last numbered card? I think actually we got three, so we should be expecting three per box, but maybe we get one more. Hopefully this one's gonna be a crazy pack. I've seen, like I said, the packs that have like four numbered cards in them, all chrome, absolutely amazing. All right. One of our Discord members, Aure, actually got one of those God Packs. So let me know if that's happened to you as well, because I've only seen one instance of that so far. All right, we got, what is this? This pack and then two packs left. We will also be reviewing the retail value boxes from this product. So definitely stick around the channel for that when it does get uploaded pretty soon. But yeah, in terms of, unfortunately when you get an auto, in terms of the auto checklist, it is sitting around, you know, 55% good auto ratio. All right, there we go. Our fourth numbered card out of 299, we have Kvicha Kvaratskhelia. I was almost, almost forgot how to exactly pronounce that, but we will do a recap at the end. But obviously it is not his rookie year. Last year was a crazy chase for that guy, especially for a lot of Syria or Napoli fans. But here we go. Last pack. We got Alfonso Davies and our last pink. I was wondering where it was. All right. So let me get these ready for the recap. Obviously, we got one, two, three, four, five. 
We're gonna do the silver pack after the recap. So uh, yeah, this is completely normal per box. And we're getting three of these. And we had four numbered cards. I'm guessing because one of them was an insert. That's typically how it goes. Actually, two of them were an insert. So we got purple out of 299. We had green out of 99. Lowest numbered out of 25, love to see it. And then a Rafa Liao out of 99. We did get a variation. If we got any other variations, I don't think this one has a variation, then we probably missed them. We're gonna have to check the base cards now. I'm, you know, having nostalgia from last year when I checked every single one of these cards from the base set. But, all right, fingers crossed on this one. Hopefully it's, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, honestly, best case scenario is you get an auto from these. Let me see if they got anything crazy. No way. Wait, I am so confused. What am I looking at at the at the very back? Could this be what I think it is? I don't know. I don't know, guys. Let's go through it. I mean, I'm chasing Colina, to be honest, like from those Allen and Ginter autos that we forgot to talk about. But they're all going to be like on-card autos. They have a lot of like pundits and you know football uh, or soccer, not characters. I don't know what exactly you want to call them, but what is this? Oh, I feel like this is going to be that random. Oh my god! And here I was thinking it was like hidden gems or something. Wow. Okay, we got trolled. All right. So unfortunately, we didn't get another numbered card, but these cards look really, really nice. Obviously, ultimate stage. These are all going to be ultimate stage. They're all going to be chrome. And this is kind of technically tops chrome preview. But um, pretty average box in my opinion. Unfortunately, we did not get an auto, but we did get a cool numbered Sire. Oh, I guess that technically makes it like five numbered cards. But um, how do we rate this set? I'll put up the rating on the screen while we talk about it. But overall, definitely an improvement from last year's set. Uh, a lot of nice new elements like, you know, the Grail, Allen and Ginter Autos, Chrome cards. Uh, they do have the Mojos that are like technically case hits, but um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that really, really surprised us this year. The price point is basically the same with you know, definitely more to offer. And, you know, the base design is still like a 50-50 to me. So it might look better in Chrome, like we mentioned earlier. But just like previous years, when, you know, Chrome does come out, a lot of people are going to be flocking towards those cards. So you're really hoping to pull, uh, you know, Lamini Mall, who's obviously carrying this entire set, um, a big auto or a very, very low numbered card. Um, no first edition this year, which was somewhat a relief, not going to lie, especially with like all the, all the like new products that have been coming out in a short, you know, period of time. Um, I don't know if we can exactly handle it, but we'll have to see because Panini has a lot of releases as well. And yeah, definitely a product, um, you know, worth trying. Uh, definitely fun for sure. Uh, one or two boxes maybe wouldn't be such a bad idea, but you know, that's basically going to be it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Uh, thanks for watching. Stick around for more content, group breaks, and giveaways. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.